I'd seen a, a television interview with a father whose son had been killed in Afghanistan, and he was very sad. I mean, they, they are all are, but they usually they buck up for the camera, and this this man in, in specifically did not. He was very critical, and I was I was taken by his emotion and, and his honesty. Inspired by this real life event, David Bergen's The Matter with Morris tells the story of a father trying to cope with the death of his son in Afghanistan. When you have children, there is that obvious possibility that you will lose them and uh, where, where the, the progression of, of life and death is, is, is disrupted. It's a theme that preoccupies the father of four. I suppose this is a, a rehearsal of some sort, perhaps a setting down of what is possible and uh, perhaps preempting it in some way or, or holding it at bay, uh, which is foolish, but, uh, but I think it's, uh, for me it was a necessary exploration. It makes me think, well, like, have I died to him? Or <laughs> have I moved on? I don't think I have, but I have definitely adopted different father figures, let's say, great philosophers or professors or, or novelists that have become more guiding principles in my life. Guiding principles in the philosophy student's life, and by extension, his dad's novel. I would pick up, let's say, The Republic by Plato and, and had read parts of it, but had never really read it. And so he, he convinced me, well, go for it. And so I read it, and then we would talk about it. I think that uh, I challenged him somewhat about what he reads <laughs> and tries to I try to elevate it a little bit. <laughs> it's these philosophical conversations between father and son that led to Morris's interest in the subject and the ultimately hopeful tone of the book. It resuscitates, reinvigorates innocence. And when you get to the end of that book, something is healed and there's, you know, it's a proper passage. It was Morris who made it optimistic. I mean, he, he's a man who, though contradictory, who wants to live uh, the examined good life, always falls over the other way. But, but he's also a man who, even though he's lost his son, grabs at life. He, he will live.